guys, I'm feeling like I'm being blinded. This is horrible because I've been looking at computer screen all day and now I've got like a really bright light next to me and all I've had is those fairy lights on. I haven't had anything else on and the computer screen's really bright. Maybe I should just wear like my sunglasses or something. This doesn't help. I'll just, I'll just take them off. Before I start, I will quickly do a shout out to the guys who sent me this t-shirt. Um, this is actually a band t-shirt and um, I, I was look, talk, like, talking to them um, a few days ago and they mentioned that they had like this big announcement surprise thing and I was really excited and the next thing I know they announced that they're doing like tie-dye t-shirts and I like tie-dye, I think it's really sweet and um, I ordered this and it's, it's really cool, hang on, look at it. Look at it, it's all like tie-dye and stuff and yeah, yeah, <laughs> and um, if you guys want to go get one, um, you should go and listen to their music, they are really really good, um, they're called The After Party, it's right here, right there, um, go and listen to their music um, and buy these t-shirts, because they're really really cool, I, I'm in love with mine, it's like my favourite shirt. So it's Friday, that means that gaming news day today is today. I'm actually filming this on a Wednesday. Okay, so let's get started on the news, because we all need the news. The NVIDIA Project Shield has been delayed until July due to third party technical, mechanical issues. On the blog, Jason Paul actually said that it won't be released until it's up to standards that NVIDIA is known for. He also commented the problem lies within a third party component and that they are working around the clock to get it fixed and up to expectations. Good job, NVIDIA. I mean that sarcastically and seriously. Sony have just released a dedicated category for indie games on the PS Vita. It hit the store with the release of Hotline Miami on the 25th of this month. Sony have taken their blog and listed a few titles that are coming out on the Vita this month in the indie game section and those are Terraria, Spelunky, Flower and a lot more but there's a big list, I'm not going to list it. And finally there has been a little bit of trouble for The Last of Us as people have noticed that the character Ellie looks a lot like the actor Ellen Page. While the actress was doing a Reddit Ask Me Anything thread, I'm doing that a lot. I need to stop. This needs to stop because it makes me look like I'm actually saying everything sarcastically and I'm not. Maybe I don't really know what's going on with my fingers and I'm really sorry. Ellen Page did a Ask Me Anything Reddit thread thing and when somebody brought up the fact that she looks like Ellie from The Last of Us, she was not at all happy. She replied with, I guess I am flattered that they ripped off my likeness, but I am acting in a video game called Beyond Two Souls, so it's not appreciated. The Last of Us creative director actually took to Twitter and started to support Ashley Johnson, who actually voices Ellie, and he said that she could not have done a better job. That's all the news. That is all of the news. News, news, news. News round, news. Anyway, this is gonna be a really short vlog because I got through that in like quick time. I am on fire tonight. I'm going to Portsmouth again um, on, when am I going? I'm going on the 5th. So from then until like the 20 something and around about the 20 something, I think it's the 26th maybe, that vlog, I've actually got like a surprise. I, you guys will see me having a surprise. It, it might be out on that day. Fucking hell, my knees are just, my knees are being destructive right now. They are ruining the printer. They just don't even care. <laughs> so um, around that time, I obviously I will be in Portsmouth, so everything's gonna be a bit up in the air. But I will try and get everything sorted before I go, so then you guys have like a set thing of what I'm gonna do, and everything will be fine and dandy, and you will all be like happy little bunnies, hopefully. And I probably will keep my hair this colour for a while, so you won't have to put up with like a drastic hair change because it's not like none of you really care about that. But I feel the need to reach out to every person in the world. <laughs> if you like this video, click the like button down below. If you don't like this video, then don't do anything. But leave a comment down below if you like. There's nothing that you guys can really respond to in this one, really. Maybe you can respond to the news that I've given you. I'd, uh, I don't know. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is at Nintendo64. If you want to follow the Killer Bits on Twitter, did you hear that? That was that was me making noises. My body is being destructive right now. I'm just doing things I don't realise I'm doing them. <laughs> if you want to follow the Killer Bits on Twitter, their Twitter is at the Killer Bits. We've also got a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the Killer Bits. That's it. 
so I'll leave you guys be and this has been a really short vlog but I can't I can't drag this out any longer because there's nothing to talk about anymore so I'll speak to you guys later and I'll see you on my day bye bye bye